Today, we got another CGC return back. 33 cards, we're gonna reveal the grades and see how we did. Let's go. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We got 33 cards here back from CGC. Without further ado, let's just get into this. So what I'm seeing looks pretty good on the back, no problems there. All right, we got the Scizor Reverse Hollow Rare from Stormfront, I believe, yes. The front does not look too bad. I'm gonna guess a nine on this. No kidding, Gem Mint 10 right off the bat, a Stormfront card, nice. I got this from a mystery box raw so we did really good on this one i was expecting probably an eight is what i was guessing on this so i am stoked that we got a 10 on this nice way to start it off all right next up this one edges look good slightly off center radiant charizard yep it is very very off center i'm gonna go with an eight or eight and a half oh okay i mean i'll take it i just thought it would be more like an eight because everything looks good except the centering is abysmal but yeah that's probably just why it didn't get a 10. <laughs> nice i will certainly not complain about that next up we are doing super well right off the bat and this looks good and a little whitening in the corner there nothing crazy Okay, we got the Gloom Illustration Rare from Obsidian Flames, that's right. This really doesn't look too bad. The centering's pretty, pretty good on the front, but I'm going to guess a 9 to be safe. All right, nice. 9.5, definitely will take that. All right, next up, nothing to complain about here, it looks great. All right, side duck. Illustration rare from 151. I love this Psyduck. There is nothing wrong here. 10. Why not? Oh, all right. We'll take that. 9.5. We are on a roll, people. This is wild. We're doing much better than I thought we would so far. Some whitening. Nothing crazy. Centering's great. Ah, the Mewtwo Hollow from 151. Centering's good. I'm getting 10 on this one. Come on. There we go. Gem Mint 10. Man, this is wild. All right, let's see. We got a vintage Japanese card here. I sent in a few of them. Corners are whitened there. Okay, yeah, the Koga's Pidgeotto. The front is off center. I'm gonna actually go with a seven, seven and a half. Okay, yep, I was right, seven and a half. It's hard to get vintage cards in a high grade. I'm just glad it wasn't less than that. Next up, yes, this is one of the ones from our Vintage Mystery Box, one of our first videos. All the cards in it were heavily played, and as you can see, it is jacked up. I just didn't have the heart to put the rares and the promos. Watch the era rares and promos in the bulk pile. I couldn't do it, even though they were all jacked up. I couldn't do it. So we just graded them with CGC so I wouldn't take that big of a loss. <laughs> but yeah, it is incredibly jacked up. And yes, this is the Vile Plume Hollow from Jungle. The front, yeah, this corner is really ripped up. One, one and a half. We got a two. <laughs> nice. Hey, I'll, t I'll take that. I could not put a Jungle Hollow card in the bulk pile. You just... I I don't care how ripped up it is. I'm not going to do it. All right, next up, yep, we got another card from that opening. A lot less destroyed, but still just mangled nonetheless. Yes, the base set to Clefairy Hollow that is just scratched up, smudged, tore up from the floor up. <laughs> the Vile Plume got a two. This is probably a two also. Whoa. Okay, it may be a three and a half. Honestly, when I sent this in, I was expecting a one. So I'll take a three and a half. Shoot, with how jacked up this card is, I'm good with that. Sometimes when you're sending in cards, great, just have fun with it. Of course, send in the heavy hitters that are in pristine condition, but sometimes you just gotta experiment and see what you get with some cards. Yep, this is another uh, vintage card from that opening. Frayed edges, definitely not as bad as the other two. Okay, yeah, the promo Mewtwo. 
Of all of them, this was one of the better condition ones. The front actually doesn't look too bad. The front, good centering. Since that Club Fairy got a three and a half, I'm gonna go ahead and guess a five, five and a half on this one. Oh, man, okay. <laughs> well, hey, again, not gonna complain about that. Four and a half. Next up. Let's see what we got cooking here. Looks looks pretty good. Some lightning, nothing nuts. Oh yes, the Kangaskhan EX Full Art from Scarlet and Violet 151. Again, I see no problems here. I gotta go with a 10. Huh? Eight and a half? Okay, there's a little bit of lightning in the corners, but all right, hey, you win some, you lose some. All right, next up. Looks good to me. Some lightning in the corner there, but nothing wild. The gold switch from 151. Yeah, the centering is off. I'm gonna guess a nine. Whoa, what? Wait a minute. All right, yeah, uh, on closer look, there's not a whole lot of edge whitening. A small amount. The centering isn't terribly bad. It was probably right on the cusp of a nine and a half and a 10, and I just decided to give it a 10. I will take that. Another Gem Mint 10 raw card out of a mystery box. We are doing really good. A lot better than I thought we would. Looks good. I don't see anything wrong there. Okay, Gita Fool Art from, yes, Obsidian Flames. Sometimes I gotta remember which Scarlet and Violet set these Fool Arts are from. It's off center slightly, but I'll go with a, a nine, nine and a half. Okay, yep, nine and a half. Man, we are doing so good. Again, looks good, no problems. Dragonite EX Terra card. I love this card. 10. There's no reason why not. Yep. Gem Mint 10. I did not expect so many 10s. This is nuts. There's a lightning up at the top there. Some in the corner there, too. Uh, centering is way off on the back. Okay, we got the Myrodon Romo. This is, yes, the Scarlet and Violet Elite Trainer Box. The front centering is great. I'm gonna guess a nine, nine and a half. Ah, eight and a half, okay. It wasn't too far off, so no worries there. All right, next up, another vintage Japanese. The edges leave a lot to be desired. Let's see, okay. This is the Japanese Mischievous Hollow from Awakening Legends. The English set is Neo Revelation. Centering is a little rough on this one. I'm gonna go with eight, eight and a half. Why? Come on. You always got to get a surprise in there somewhere. And this one's a surprise of five. I don't think it's that bad. Come on. Oh, well, hey, like I said before, you win some and you lose. I mean, centering's good. A little bit of whitening, nothing too crazy. Yes, the Raichu Hollow from X and Y base set got this nice swirl here. I just love that swirl. Centering isn't the worst. A little heavy on the top, but it's really not that bad. I'm gonna guess an eight, eight and a half. Okay, even better than I thought. Well done. Looks good. I don't see any problems. Yes, the Gengar Hollow from 151. Everything looks good on the front. I'm gonna guess another 10. Yes! Right on. Gem Mint 10 Gengar Hollow from 151. Wow, I am just very pleasantly surprised at how well we're doing. Okay, this is another one from our vintage mystery box. The edges are just jacked up. Okay, yes, the Dragonite promo. And it's very bent in the corner there, smudged up there. I'm gonna go four, four and a half. Okay. Four. Yeah, I actually guessed it right. All right, next up. Yeah, another card from that opening. Edges are just jacked up. Yes, the Ditto Rare. It is a mess. <laughs> four, four and a half. All right, it was a three. We'll take it, hey. Next up, a modern Japanese card. Looks good, nothing to complain about here. All right, yes, the Charizard Character Rare from VMAX Climax. Gem Mint 10, come on. There we go. Gem Mint 10. 
I love getting Gem Mint 10 Charizards. All right, this is our Gold Medal Mew from the 151 Ultra Premium Collection. Centering looks great. It looks pristine. I gotta go with a 10. I don't see any issue. I will take a nine, no problem. Next up, let's see. Looks great to me. All right, the Mew EX from the 151 Ultra Premium Collection. Promo card. Centering is off. But that's really the only issue I can see, so I'm gonna guess a uh, nine, nine and a half. Nice, nine and a half, mint plus. Next up, looking good, this is probably the Mewtwo. Yes, the Mewtwo promo, 151 UPC. Centering is off, a little top heavy. But yeah, again, that's pretty much the only thing. Uh, nine, nine and a half. Very good, another nine and a half. Sweet. All right, next up, very minor edge whitening. It's so minuscule, it's honestly shouldn't even be a problem. Centering's good. All right, the Machoke illustration rare from 151. It looks like a 10. How is that an eight and a half? That is nuts. Well, I'll never know, but at least it's not lower than that. See, it looks good. Very minor edge whitening. Centering's pretty good to me. Nine Tails EX, 151. I mean, it's pretty good to me. I'm gonna guess nine, nine and a half, because there is a little bit of centering issue on it, but what in the world? Okay, I'm not gonna try to figure that one out. Centering is off. The Raikal V from Crown Zenith, super nice. Looks great to me. I'm gonna go nine, nine and a half. Nice, nice, we got the Gem Mint 10. All right, we're nearing the end here. Centering is off. Glaceon EX for Fates Collide. Yeah, centering and good. There's some scratching. I'm gonna guess eight, eight and a half. Whoa. All right, hey, I guess the centering isn't the worst. That's way better than I thought it would do when I first sent it in. <laughs> All right, modern Japanese card here. I mean, the back looks great. I mean, okay. Radiant Charizard, V-Star Universe. I mean, 10, come on. A absolutely, no contest. Gem Mint 10 Zards are the best. All right, four left. Looks good to me. Giovanni's Charisma. Special illustration rare from 151. I'm gonna go for Broken Guess a 10. There is nothing wrong with this card. I'm not gonna complain about a nine. I will definitely take that. Next up, centering is way off. There are some corner issues. All right, we got the Clara full art promo from the Clara Premium Tournament Collection. And centering is just off all over the place. I'm gonna guess eight, eight and a half. Okay, nine, sweet. And look at that, we got a pristine 10 Japanese card, and I know what it is. It is the Drowsy from Violet EX. Nice, always love seeing the pristine 10. Two cards left, centering is way off. Reggie Drago V Alt Art from Silver Tempest. I don't see anything wrong, I'm gonna guess nine, nine and a half. Nice, the Gem Mint 10. I oh, love getting me a Gem Mint 10 alt art. That is so cool. And our final card of the grade reveal. Centering's off. Okay, Eevee, trainer gallery card. I'm gonna go ahead and guess nine, nine and a half on this one. Ah, all right. Hey, we'll take it, we'll take it. That was a really great grade reveal. I, we did a lot better than I thought we would. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more great reveals, and I'll see you on the next one.